Hi guys, my name is Pratik Joshi and welcome to yet another episode of Tales of Goa. As you all know, Goa was dominated by the agricultural communities wherein the farmers used to go on fields to meet their agricultural needs. After a decent winter season, these communities used to come together to celebrate and to seek the blessings of God in the form of local Goan folk songs. So while they were doing these folk songs, they used to pray for a good or a decent summer season which would be followed by a rain-fed agricultural crop. So this particular celebration came to be known as Shigmo in Goa. Shigmo is celebrated throughout Goa in different ways. So in today's episode, we are going to be learning how Shigmo is celebrated on Goa's biggest island, Shorao, which is called Homkun. So let's find out. The history of Shigmo dates back to the 16th century in Goa. It was originally celebrated as a way to honor the gods and goddesses as well as to bring good luck and prosperity to the people. Also, it is a celebration to welcome home the brave hearts who had gone on to fight wars across the Goan borders. The festival of Shigmo takes place after Holi for a period of two weeks every single year. Originally, Shigmo itself began in the Goan rural areas but with time it received its importance and Goa's appreciation for its beautiful folk dances and artistic floats based on Hindu mythology. I am here at Sharao in the premises of the Devki Krishna temple where the festival of Homkund is celebrated annually. Homkund is a Sanskrit word which when broken up into two pieces, Home and Kund means that home is basically the fire uh, used for the puja whereas the kund means the place where this fire is lit. So based on the information that I got from the villagers here, uh, I could not date back when this festival actually started operating. But I found out that there was a brave soul by the name of Paulus who actually started this tradition. So what he did was basically mount some firewood and when it was burned he would spread it over and then walk over it. People found it actually amusing that when they saw his feet that there were no burn marks. So people started believing that whoever walked through this fire, the fire would burn away their negative aura. Hence people started joining in. In the 1930s, when this temple of Devki Krishna was rebuilt, the festival of Homkun started being celebrated in these very premises. Regarding the temple of Devki Krishna, there are many legends, many stories which we will definitely cover in some other episode of Tales of Goa. But for now, let's learn more about the Homkun festival celebrated here. Speaking about the Homkun festival, this is a festival that is only celebrated by men. Women do not participate in any of the rituals during this custom, however, they are free to spectate. Unlike other places in Goa, where they allow only a certain class of people to participate in the festival, the Homkun festival at Sharao is open to all men irrespective of their religion, caste and creed. This festival starts on the full moon day when the men go to four wards for four days on the island of Sharao in a procession. Every day they visit each house to collect firewood which is kept ready by every household. Prasad or Neved is offered to them once the procession passes their house. This collected firewood is used to make the home kun. So it is always said that it is better you believe in what you see rather than what you hear. So let's see how the islanders celebrate it. Around 100 meters from the temple's premises, 50 men approximately hold in their hands dried coconut leaves tied together and form a pathway. A person from the Jalmi clan gets the privilege of lighting the first torch every single year. He uses his torch to light up the dried coconut leaves forming a canopy of fire. Men led by the torch bearer pass through this canopy of fire to enter the temple premises at the beats of Dhol, Tasha and Zas. A puja called Deshti in Kokni is performed at the threshold of the temple which is followed by all the men racing to light up the homekund. Here again the Jalmi clan gets the privilege to light up the homekund before anyone else. All the burning coconut leaves are added to the homekund to make it an enormous burning pyramid of wood. 
it takes approximately 2 to 3 hours for the home kund to reduce to burning hot coal until then all the male devotees dance to the tune of the dhol tasha and zaz to a very vigorous goan folk dance called talgadi while dancing to this mesmerizing beats of the local instruments few chosen villagers are said to attain a trance state once the entire home kund is reduced to red hot residue it is spread across a certain area and the person from the zalmi clan who led the home kund burning procession gets the first chance to walk over the hot coals soon after him all the other male devotees get their chance to walk over the hot coal even visitors can take part in this custom of walking over fire irrespective of religion caste and creed Many men carry their children and run over these hot coals. It is said this is done to remove an evil eye following the child. Finally, one of the villagers who is in the trance state goes ahead and picks up some burnt residue in his hands to mark the end of the fire running ritual. To finally conclude the festival, all male devotees are given a coconut each to hold during the gharane. The gharane or the concluding prayers are done to ask for blessings and forgiveness for any wrongdoings committed during the festival once that is done all the male devotees have to break their respective coconuts by hitting them hard against each other's coconuts as you can see it is amazing to see a 25 feet high home kun get reduced to hot residue and people walking all over it without getting any burns so that is it for this video of tales of goa guys thank you so much for watching this video till the very end do make sure you share this video with all your friends and family groups and make sure you attend the home kun festival on the sharao island next year so that is it from my end guys hope to see you for the next episodes so until then be happy stay safe take care of your loved ones dev bare karu like share subscribe